At the lovely Holyoke Heritage State Park off Dwight Street lies the Children's Museum at Holyoke, and some call it the hidden gem of this city. We went to the museum for a day of fun, and we talked to Susan Kelly. She's the executive director of the Children's Museum at Holyoke. The Children's Museum is 35 years old. It was started in a little storefront in Holyoke by a dedicated group of junior league volunteers who remained dedicated and diligent to making sure that it, uh, it stayed afloat. It moved from time to time and it ended up in this building, uh, I would say, 20 years ago. Uh, it, to this day, it just re re continues to grow because we have the resources to occasionally get a new exhibit, get new carpeting. Since we've added new things, it gives kids choices so things don't get bottlenecked and, and crowded. It's just become a destination. We have 50,000 visitors a year. Having the fact that the merry ground is outside and a picnic area in the summer, it, 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 a whole day can be spent here. With dozens of the exhibits, the museum is a great affordable destination year-round. Our membership dues are really low, which means that they can come for a year. For a, you know, the smallest membership is a grandparent membership for $50 a year. They can come every day. It pays for itself after two visits. Most people leave with a membership. The kids are amazing. My favorite part is the relationships we build. We see people pregnant and the next thing you know they're, they're walking in here with a toddler and they start to grow here. We have 16 mailboxes all over the museum. Then we have the mail is laminated with a picture of the exhibit or the words. So if they can't read, they can match. So there's a learning component to that. Um, we have um, a building in the Imagination Playground where they're supposed to use their imagination every time they come to build. We, have, uh, we actually have a, uh, a learning program every Thursday. We have a teacher who conducts a, a reading class with oh, dancing activities, the book, and then a uh, craft to go with it. And if it's raining or if your kids have been cooped up in the house, come on to the curvy crawler. They'll get all their energy out here. And it's not just about entertainment. There is a fair amount of education that happens at the Children's Museum at Holyoke. A lot of the little ones, if they come in at 10, they're usually done by 12, and they might have lunch upstairs. But otherwise, uh, people can bring a lunch and eat in the picnic area and spend the day. So if you're looking for some affordable family fun this spring, consider the Children's Museum in Holyoke. It's a blast for kids of all ages. You can learn something, and they have dozens and dozens of exhibits for everyone.